In this economy, more people are riding the bus. But as you're about to see, they're not all welcome. You know what? Y'all can take this off the bus. This video, obtained by the Fox 9 investigators, shows a Metro Transit driver telling some rowdy riders to find the exit. One of the troublemakers isn't leaving. Instead of going for the door, he goes for the driver. A Fox 9 investigation finds nearly 70 Metro Transit operators reported threats, even physical assaults, while on the job in 2010. Your seat belted in us behind the steering wheel of a bus and you got your seatbelt on, you're defenseless. In Brad Burt's case, the passenger was upset the fare box didn't give change. He kept complaining he was out of quarter. And he was very argumentative. After this went on for a while, Burt told him to leave. When I turned my head, that's when he punched me in the side of the head. Police eventually caught up with Robert Gagnon. He pled guilty to assault. He was hardly his first offense. His rap sheet includes everything from auto theft and burglary to terroristic threats and drunk driving. A lot of our issues start with fair disputes. Disputes like this one. A man tries using a bus pass that's no longer valid. When it doesn't work, he grabs a ticket from another passenger. When the driver informs him no can do, the rider pays with a fist. Thomas Williams, the man who threw the punch in this video, is no stranger to the law. Check out his criminal justice resume. You can add this case to his convictions list. That's what transit caters to the thugs. Plain and simple. Some drivers say Metro Transit needs to be doing more to crack down on problem passengers. We're talking about uh, the minority here, a very few number that causes this problem. The chief of the transit police says officers spent nearly 20,000 hours riding buses last year paying special attention to the routes with the most complaints. We, we operate a very safe system. He says the number of felony assaults on drivers is dropping. There were 44 in 2007 compared to 17 last year. They just want to do their job, too. But drivers... I would like to see them on the buses more. And even some passengers... Uh, I believe we need more police riding the bus. Yeah. Even in daytime. Would feel better if officers were on the buses longer. Ride the route, the whole route, not just a little segment. Ride from the Brooklyn Center Transit Center to downtown, because that's where your problem because is. Because... Trouble doesn't operate on a schedule. When this passenger is told he can't ride for free, he retaliates. First with his mouth, then with a punch. He wants a fight, but the driver wisely closes the door on him. At one point, the angry passenger walks over to the driver's window and tries to attack him there. Drivers feel like... I tell somebody the fare, the proper fare, and then I get spit on. Hit a driver while they're operating a bus, it's a felony. Spit on them, it's a misdemeanor. It's just degrading. Sometimes liquid comes from a cup. Incidents like the ones you've been watching can happen anywhere, anytime. We checked Metro Transit reports and found these routes had the most last year. Route 19, which travels along Olson Memorial Highway in Minneapolis, had 10. Route 16 through the University of Minnesota had 8. And Route 5 from Brooklyn Center to the Mall of America had 6. This fight broke out on Route 5. As you can see, it's happening right next to the driver while the bus is moving. The struggle continues after the vehicle comes to a stop. While scenes like these are disturbing, transit officials say the vast majority of bus trips are safe and uneventful. Any amount is too many. I'm not sure it's realistic to believe we can get it to zero, but we have been working on this year after year. Here's one thing Metro Transit is doing with the troublemakers. All the names on this list are under a court order to stay off the bus. For some, it's a month-long ban, others up to a year, and for the really bad ones, a lifetime. I'm Fox 9 investigator Jeff Ballion.